Welcome back to another vlog. This is a very exciting week today. It's Tuesday. It's a big podcast week. I have to have the rest of the December podcast episodes all sent in by Friday. So I'm shooting three, one, two today, one tomorrow. Great guest, y'all will see. Danielle and Brooke are actually currently flying to Dallas because they have a show tomorrow. So I have a bunch of plans with them today and tomorrow. And yeah, it's gonna be a good week. So subscribe if y'all like the vlog. If y'all are new here, hello, I'm Kenzie. I'm a lifestyle vlogger. I live in Dallas, Texas. I have a podcast called House Guest. I have a brand called Friend of Mine. It's all centered around home and hosting. Hello. I'm curious, like, if y'all are watching this video, maybe this is your first video you're seeing, or, like, where did you guys find me? And when did you start watching the channel? I just would like to know. I'm back home and I have a box from, is it Cezanne? Cezanne. The actual box itself is stunning. So cute. I've been wanting stuff from them for so long. I feel like they're everywhere right now. First thing I got is this gray um, scarf. It feels so nice, so lightweight, just like a staple. Oh my God, how cute. This is going with my scarf. Okay, next, this is like kind of different for me, but I just thought this like denim on denim and boots would just be so cute for something someday like i got it in a small so it's like pretty i mean hopefully this fits actually i should try this on i know it's like kind of random but i just think it's so cute like imagine this denim on denim with my josie boots and a belt like how cute right love that look like part of me wants to wear it for the podcast today we'll see it i just think it's so cute okay then i just got some sweaters so this one is just a really nice long sleeve and then I think there's detailing, yeah. There's detailing on the actual sleeve. This is more of a long sleeve, really easy, fun piece. And then I got the red sweater. This is what I've wanted from them for so long. And I just got it in a size small, fun. I just think it is honestly like everything. I am obsessed. I might wear this today in the recording. I just think it's fun. This with like a white long sleeve underneath. Oh my God, like everything from them is stunning. Like the actual packaging is so cute. <gasps> Look at this one though. Honestly, no, I'm wearing this sweater. Guys, like look at how cute this is. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, this with like a bunch of jewelry, jeans. Like honestly, do I even kitten heel it? Like we'll see, but amazing. I'm really excited. And then also from Sephora, I got Glossier Boy Gel, Brow Gel, sorry. Um, and then I got the House Lab Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer, and then I got the Rare Beauty Stick. I've been wanting to try both products. I am really loyal to the Fenty Coco Naughty Bronzer just because I think it's amazing and it looks so good on my skin. I love House Labs. Like, I need to try everything from them. I want to do like a full face of them because that foundation is so good. It's a foundation that I've been wearing, honestly, on and off for a while. It is just the one of the best foundations I've ever used. Like, why can I not open this? So, I was like, I might as well try this one out. I just think it's, like, so nice. How cute, right? I think this is the sauna, people. Hello? Hello. This is an automated delivery confirmation message from Ryan. It's for CB2. Ignore the fact that I don't have lipstick on right now. It looks weird because I have my full makeup on. Love this outfit. As y'all know, I just keep wearing these jeans, this belt, and these boots, and it's just the best. It's hard to find jeans that like work well with, je with boots these are my best ones that i have um but if you guys have good recs let me know i don't want like a full skinny jean you know so this is the Cezanne sweater i kind of want to button it up top but i don't know if that's stupid like i personally am into it i personally like it so i think we might be doing it we'll see and then this is from golden hour my bracelets that i love claire um Koo smith is the guest today so i'm wearing these little bow earrings we also have some more bow things happening mm -hmm. 
and not to be dramatic, but look at how cute. These wine glasses are old West Elm, and then these bows are so cute. I just got them on Amazon. I wanna share what I got them for, but I'm worried that my niece is watching this, so I'll share after the fact. But I am putting bows on literally everything. Like I'm putting these on my Uggs, I'm putting them on everything. Also, like guys, I love the sweater, and I love it like this. Think about my kitchen, is this such a stunning kitchen, but the lighting isn't amazing because it's off like skylight and then there's lights there. So unless I'm holding y'all like this, like the lighting is rough. I'm back in the kitchen. I was recording for the past like five or six hours. We had some difficulties, but we're back. Brooke and Danielle are in town. I don't know if I said that to the vlog yet, but they have a live show tomorrow that I'm obviously going to, and then we're going to dinner tonight. They're coming to my house, then we're going to dinner, taking them to Hudson House, and then we're going to Soul Cycle in the morning, and then they have their show tomorrow. I think that I can't go shopping with them tomorrow, but I think they're going shopping. I'm so excited because the girls haven't been Honestly, we've never been to in Dallas together and we've always been talking about doing a Dallas trip They're obviously here for the show, but at least like see the house or whatever So exciting, but I'm finally unboxing a bunch of my Kendra Scott stuff and look at this ornament That they gave me from the Cowboys game y'all know I'm like so picky when it comes to Cowboy boots stuff like that. I feel like a lot of it is like not cute it ends up being like really tacky and this one is actually so cool like look at this little cowboy boot little ornament it's so cute i'm putting that on the tree all right guys i just changed and honestly i don't love my outfit it's randomly warm here like i don't know when that happened so I got a dress because I'm just wearing coats with everything. And then I'm wearing, my jeans are stretched out. I should have changed them. I just don't feel like it. I was wearing boots, but Danielle's wearing heels. I'm making a stuff to make hot chocolate. Um, again, and Brooke's in a dress. So I added just these like block heels and they're gonna be here in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna try to start a fire in the backyard so we can have a nice little relaxing moment at the fire pit before we go to dinner. Okay, so Danielle and Brooke are here. Danielle literally made a notes list with talking points because we have a lot to catch up on. Because I was like, I don't want to forget later. Like, I know, you know we, we really do forget a lot. It's such limited time together. That it's we such yeah, limited time. We have to jam it in. We have to jam it in. Oh, happy hour. Oh, happy hour. Danielle loves saying the word hot cocoa. Like, yes, hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Yes. I would have said it in the car. Oh, guys, you know? we, have, we have another surprise out in the back. I haven't even given you the tour yet. <laughs> On my way to Soul Cycle with Danielle and Brooke. We are doing the Wake and Drake class, so it's perfect for Danny. Last night dinner was so fun, so we went with Brooke and her dad and her dad's, well, obviously with Brooke, but we went with Brooke's dad and her dad's best friend. And it was just so wholesome. Like, I love hanging out with people's parents. Like, I really, really do. And I love Brooke's mom, Medina, so much. And Peaceful Michelle. I love their moms. For those of you who don't know, I feel like there's actually a lot of people who don't realize this now. But, like, Brooke, Danielle, and I have been friends for 10 years. We all started doing YouTube. I feel like, if anything, the YouTube viewers know this. But we all... Well, I think they started doing YouTube maybe, like, a year or two before me. But... 
This is back when Brooke and Danielle, Brooke, Danielle was just always on like Instagram. Anyway, this was back in their preppy days, but we became friends in high school. I was like 15, 16. It was right when I started my channel. We all got really close and then we just stayed close throughout the years and it's been, I mean, you guys see, we do our two annual trips a year obviously and then we just see each other often because they we, we just have other things we see each other at anyways i just love having the girlies here and i'm excited for tonight so tonight is their live show i'm also recording with kate davis today which kate davis is like kind of my idol i'm obsessed with her so and um i have an extra ticket so i'm taking macy to the live show and i'm so excited because i haven't seen their show i haven't seen that many people's shows just because obviously you go to your own i haven't even technically seen my own i guess so the juice bar. Okay. For some reason, I'm like tabbing. What did you do? I got the hot shot. I got the hay honey. Texas raw honey is the best. Yeah, I'm oh, I, I do it too. I don't know why. They're big. That's yeah. You can't do that. Hot. That feels great. Wow. It's really I'm back from Soul Cycle. Today I'm recording an episode with Kate Davis and I love her. Like I'm so obsessed with her. If y'all follow her, you are also obsessed with her. Actually, Brooke and Danielle told me about her when we were in Cabo, but they were like, I can't believe you don't follow her because you would be obsessed. She's a bull rider wife. She has the coolest style, the best hair. She's so nice. Girls, girl, just the best. She has first class cowboys. So if you guys have seen all those, First class Cowboys Truckers, those are her. I'm really excited about the podcast. I've been going into, I'm reading the book, How to Tell Extra Life, and it's one of the podcast episodes from MLF that I've been referencing like nonstop. And it's made me really think and like readjust like where I should be spending time like on my business. My podcast is definitely like my main thing, but I just want the video quality. I want everything to be so amazing. And even sometimes like do like vlog style episodes, like have like photography in every single episode, which is really, really, take it to the next level and like spend the entire day doing every like one show but we'll also do like some in studio stuff i'll mix it up like it's not all gonna be that we probably wouldn't even have, be able to have like the time to do that but i wanted to like fireside chats like outside like i just have like a vision for things that i want to do and honestly i need a new fire pit if i want to do that because my fire pit has been so smoky i need a solo stove fire pit or a solo fire pit or no smokes, fire pit. Whatever Snoop Dogg's talking about, you know? Anyways, I am actually so lucky. I'm, this is not sponsored at all. I'm working with Urban Outfitters on the podcast and then also on Instagram. And I texted Maddie Trapp, my like childhood best friend. I saw her like literally last week. She's who got me into YouTube. We used to just like roam Urban Outfitters in high school and middle school and just like stare at everything and then like go and maybe buy a tank from like the sales section. We were just so obsessed and we spent so much for our youth fair. So finally, to be working with them is sick. I do have a code, I think it's Kenzie 10 for 10% off. They have great gifts. Um, this isn't sponsored, but I just wanna show you guys the things that I picked up because I think y'all are gonna love them. First things first, for all my Texas girlies, amazing. I would just say, like, uh, this is a size small and I wish I would've done an extra small so it's like tighter, but I'm going to the ranch on Friday and I'm like, I have to wear this. Like, how cute is that shirt okay i know y'all are gonna love it so i'll link it and you can get 10 percent off with my code these sweats just feel like amazing they just have some of the best like sweats and just staples i love them they're really big and baggy just for like everyday sweats i love and then um, i'm actually throwing a christmas party next week and we are wearing it's like a pajama theme so i'm so glad that i got these because i feel like i'm gonna wear them the only thing i'm kind of scared about is okay so these are the bottoms they're kind of like I don't know. I feel like I wish that they weren't like that, but I feel like maybe on they'll be fine. And then I don't have like slippers too much. This is so stupid. I'll just wear normal Ugg ones, like chest out ones. I'm just so extra. Like, why does that matter? Like, Kizzy, relax. So I'm not going to get new slippers just to match one pair of pajamas, okay? I've just done the math in my head and I'm, like, I'm going to stop being an idiot, okay? So these are the bottoms. I think they're so cute for Christmas. And then this is the top. So I'll wear a little black bralette, which I actually don't have. So maybe I'll need to order. 
um, cropped, super cute, love this vibe. I think that'll be fun. And then I got this top and I'm pretty sure I got the matching skirt with it. So there's a matching skirt. I don't even know if this is gonna fit me, honestly. Yeah, there's no way. I feel like, I don't know. Maybe not for the larger chest girlies, but the skirt was what I was really excited about for this outfit anyways. So I love that. This just like reminds me of like everything I ever wanted growing up out from under. Just like, do you guys remember like going in like feeling all the pajamas and stuff? Anyways, love that really simple like Henley-esque shirt. And then these are also so cute. Y'all know how I feel about pajamas. Like cute matching pajama set every single night. So, so cute and they have bows on them which as we already talked about in this vlog, I love. And then these are the matching bottoms. And I just thought these were like so cute. My dining room right now is such a mess. I like feel bad so many people are coming over and I'm like, guys, I just have so many boxes of gifts that I have to wrap, but I can't wrap a lot of them because, God, I wish that I could tell you guys what I'm getting Sophie for Christmas, but like she watches my vlog sometimes and I just can't, but I got her an actual gift gift. Actually, I can't even tell you because like I literally can't, but basically I'm waiting for the other thing to come in before I wrap it because it has to be like wrapped within it. Um, and then also the younger the kid, the bigger the gift. Mateo, my nephew, his gift is the size of me. So I'm like, I honestly might schedule a return for pickup and then just order it again to my mom's place because unless I have a truck by that time, I do not have room in my car we'll see anyways i love these pieces though i'm really excited about them oh my god i just like you know when you randomly just think of like the best group chat name and then you just do it and you don't even tell anyone like you don't texting in the group you just go and then eventually they see it and then they think it's funny it's just amazing also i'm so excited for the show tonight i'm just in a fabulous mood and we are back Marcus King is the perfect music to play when you're just at your house. Update, I'm ready to go, but I got this new table and I guess this is part of when Sierra designed this room and I just like totally forgot and it came in super late. I don't know how I feel about it. Like there's a lot of tables going on, but honestly it's nice to have another table to just do things. I actually really like it. The more I look at it, Especially because eventually like this stuff obviously isn't gonna be here year-round. So I actually really do like it long term I would love like a conversational Thing I know I just bought you know that chair and whatever but like there's ways to make this room Conversational the conversation couch thing that's going on if you guys know what I'm talking about um, but I tried to dress in theme for the girls tonight. I know like one of their colors that people dress up in is pink, same from high shows. Everyone either wears pink, pink or like cowboy boots basically to mine. So I'm wearing all pink and then I even have out my pink St. Laurent bag. So cute that I don't wear enough, but honestly it's cute and I don't regret the purchase anymore. Macy is coming to get me. I'm taking her tonight. She's meeting the gals. How exciting. I had such a good day. Like, recording with Kate was fabulous. Love her so much. And then I sent in all the episodes for December. Every single detail besides, like, the pictures. Like, all the ads, all the actual episodes, audios, videos. Um, like, episode details, all the things. Which I'm just remembering that this is transferring. Wow, I need faster Wi-Fi here. Okay, well, we are about to head off. I'm gonna switch to my G7X camera so I actually can take y'all with. This is the other camera I use. Like I take a lot of my flash photos on this camera and then my M50 that I have. I'll have an Amazon storefront link of all my camera equipment. That's my favorite camera because it's a wider lens. You'll see in the next clip that this one just isn't as good, but it's a lot smaller. So it just makes it like a lot easier, you know, to actually work with, you know? You know, you know, her mom's gonna be so happy to see that though. She's gonna be like, she's gonna be like, so it turns out there's a hotel in Addison. I actually did know that. We didn't know, like, right here. You know, you said you were poor with yourself, okay? Yeah. So fabulous. To everyone who can experience Hudson House and Sabbath for you, it is officially my number one restaurant in Dallas. Like, two days in a row. Nothing about it. 
will ever disappoint. No, I'm it's so it. good. The banana nut espresso martini, unbelievable. Like, guys, you guys jaywalk. I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> we're in a fight because Macy like will not jaywalk, and I'm like the number one jaywalker. I'm also a rule breaker. Macy is like not a rule breaker. Literally, I think that like when she had it, she dressed. Like, Which you what? I think like when you was a kid, were you cut? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like she was literally up their ass. Like attached to them, obsessed. So like you were the one who like went back and visited like your third grade teacher after you got I like, didn't do that. School. I didn't do that, but I did like win raffles in elementary school to go to the lunch with my teachers. And that's worse. And that's sweet, and I love that for you, but it just like makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. We're chugging this, by the way, because we have to go. Yeah, we have to go. We have people to see. She's doing it! Macy, I'm so proud of you! Do hard things! Be brave! Look at how stunning our girlies look. They use Kristen and Anna. Oh my god, little cute outfits. We got the boots. Oh my god, the boots! Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Obsessed. So cute. My star children, I can't wait. Break a leg. It's all started because of your show. It was going to your show. Aww. Girly, so cute. You know, I mean, my stand up comic. Let's not even get started on the comedy career here. Woo! Y'all, my lips right now, I was using the Tarte like pH balance. The Tarte lip gloss that like adjusts to you. Last night, there was like a bright pink on me, right? Which was fine because of what I was wearing. And I woke up this morning, it's like way less than it was and that's saying something. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, wow. Anyways, I have Mara skincare. They just sent it to me and this, obviously, this is not sponsored. I know that Dom loves them. I'm pretty sure like a face oil of hers was Mara forever ago and I'm pretty sure it was the one I used to steal and like use when I was with her. Wow, this feels really nice. Oh my god, this is from the Lip Trio, but this is just the algae one. I don't know, it's the transparent one. I have a cleansing oil, a body oil, so I'm obviously not using those yet. I'm using the face oil. I love my skincare at the lake house, so I've just been using like extra stuff that I have. I'm pretty sure this is it, let's see. But I love a good face oil. And I love a lot of it, honestly. Oh my god, it feels amazing. Yeah, this is the oil. It was just, it's just one of the best feeling oils on your skin. Like, oh my gosh. It seriously is amazing. Love it. I'm wearing the Urban Outfitters set that I showed y'all yesterday. And then obviously Super Goop. We're doing a favorite, favorite thing um, product. I accidentally got this in the normal color, not in Golden Hour though. This is my OG favorite until it came out with Golden Hour. I need to stock up because obviously this is like, you can't even tell on camera, but it's too light for my skin. Golden Hour has a little bit of like a tint to it. Anyways, instead of White Elephant, we're doing like a favorite thing party and everyone has to bring their favorite thing under $30 and mine is going to be super good glow screen as y'all already know but last night the show was so good I met so many of y'all it was just so much fun I want to do like a like I want to do live shows again I miss them I love doing them but I want to do like a tour where it's all in like one month I'm thinking like fall of 2024 I know that's like so far away but like it'll be here before we know it and I want to do like every weekend and do go everywhere so comment below where I should go for the live show. The other reason I wanted to hold off is just because of the rebrand of house guests. I feel like people like it takes a while to like get accustomed and like used to it. So and I wanted to like focus on like friend of mine and then do that and whatever. So anyways, I'm very excited about that. Let's go make some coffee. Also, y'all, my wallpaper man is coming to fix this tomorrow. But like not okay. I don't even know what to do. I don't want to keep moving it. He's coming tomorrow. I don't want to keep like touching it. Cause like what do I do? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Coco just like put herself in her crate. Okay, sorry girl, we didn't want to hang anyways. Hello, Fitzy. Hello, Fitzy. Hello. Okay, giving y'all, I mean, I filmed a cocktail video last night, don't worry. Giving y'all a little coconut update too, because so many people on the show were asking me. So, um, she still cannot walk. There still are always small improvements though. So like, I, at this point, at first, I was like, she's gonna walk again. 
this is gonna happen. Also, it was a really low chances that she wasn't going to. Like when she got a surgery, they're like, there's an 85% chance she'll walk. And then like, of course. And then typically like just takes weeks and whatever. And we're like, her surgery was in March. If you guys are unaware, my dog, Coconut, has IBDD. It's really prevalent in like Frenchies. So if you guys have a Frenchie, do your research so you can like see this stuff early on. I saw it with Coco and we were doing conservative tr like, treatment and she'd gotten better. And then all of a sudden they woke up one morning, which IBDD, it's like a disc in your back. And it, there's all these different stages and basically it can cause your dog to be paralyzed. Guys, I really need to make mugs for a friend of mine because like, I just love, like I need like a big mug. Like I love the look of this, but I need a big fat mug. Um, anyway, sorry if this is repetitive for like my very loyal watchers. So she had her surgery in March and then we've been in physical therapy and acupuncture basically ever since. And she's definitely gotten better and like she'll get really, way better show improvements and then like plateau, way better show improvements and then plateau. This is a very long time for her to not be able to walk. And it's not that I'm like losing hope. I just am like, okay, if she never does because of the life that we have now. Like she has her little wheels. She like drags around. Like she still is like so happy and fine. Like if her quality of life actually went down, like if it was like fit, it would be different. Coco is a lap dog that just wants to be sitting next to me all the time. Um, if her quality of life was going down, we would consider other options, but it's not and she's really happy. And I mean, I've literally done everything I possibly can for this dog. So anyways, with that being said, if the physical therapist person told me like there's no hope, like we just got to give up, she's not going to walk again. I have come to terms with it. Like I'm at peace with it. I obviously would love for her to walk. I just like, I want her to be happy and like whatever works. And like if that happens, it happens. That being said, it should be a very long time to get to that point. And like when this first happened, like there's just like no, I can't even describe like the pain and stress of like, when it's like your own dog and you're the one who's like solely responsible for this. I've had Coco since I was 18. Like she's literally been there through my entire like adult life. So obviously, I mean, I was a wreck when this first happened, especially like the very first time before she even had surgery because she, we did it like medicinally and then she was crate resting for a while and whatever. And then waking up, I mean, it was like so, I was really upset, obviously. But anyways, that's not the thing. Still not walking. There are slow improvements. She is getting feeling back more and more like down her back as we like test it and she does like kick sometimes and do things she's just not like up walking so it could just be like a very 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 slow recovery or it could just be that it isn't happening again let's say positive thoughts and prayer that it is a slow recovery and that she'll be walking i would have never imagined she wasn't walking by now literally ever so it's been a year with her but we've we we're in a good place is what i'm getting at Okay, I'm ordering my stall mats from Tractor Supply. I love Tractor Supply. Like, it really is the place for me. Um, but since my sauna is coming, let me flip it. So this is cute. My sauna is supposed to be coming, like, today. But I'm so confused on the delivery because no one will call me. But we're adding more stall mats to the garage. I wanted to redo. I've talked about the, like, floor being ugly. I could have gotten a pod and stained the floor. I just was like, that's just a lot of work. So we're just adding stall mats. I already have four under my um, treadmill from the townhouse. So we're adding stall mats. They're literally like horse stall mats and they smell very, very, very bad when you first get them, but not because they were like with horses. They just like are really, like a really bad rubber smell. Like you've never smelled before, but I'm getting more of those so that we're able to like cover the floor mainly with those. So it'll like look better at least. Like we'll see. I'm about to go into an appointment. I shared when I got my like brain. It wasn't really a brain scan. I just like didn't know how else to describe it. I'm going to Brain Codes. They have one in Dallas. I think they have it in Denver. A couple other places. But I'm very into like brain health in general. I got a spec scan with Dr. Amen last year. And what's cool about Brain Codes and the reason that I like really wanted to do it is because you basically after they like do your like brain analysis you end up going through like brain training almost so i'm like not gonna get the verbiage correct on this right now because i don't have it like right in front of me but you go through training and it's basically like retraining your brain to like best optimize it like i'm working on anxiety and brain fog mainly and then just like best optimizing my brain it was actually really interesting when i did my like analysis on the actual like 
analysis that we did on my brain they were like you live so much of your life i had like very high beta like you live so much of your life in fight or flight and i would agree with that and they're like typically if you have like a tumultuous childhood and you had to like do a lot of things yourself or whatever it is like typically if you have like a very tumultuous childhood when you're a kid you're supposed to learn to like just be and i and a lot of other people who experience this like never learn how to just be so you live a lot of your life in fight or flight because you never learned how to do that as a kid if that makes any sense so i so now i sit there they hook my brain up and they're like rewarding my brain for when it does certain things but i literally just watch gilmore girls i feel like i'm like a kid in a waiting room it's amazing i love going today's my second appointment but it's amazing because it's like rewiring your brain eventually so like you don't need to do this for like ever basically after six months like you do the training and then like you should be just like set so it's like a different form of therapy almost but like it's retraining your brain to actually learn how to be and do all these things and then you don't have to like do it later in life so i'm really excited about it um I want to have one of them on on the podcast and like talk all about it because it's like really really interesting and you guys know me i like love this kind of stuff so editing coco just got groomed we finally found a mobile groomer that i really like and she actually looks very cute she's giving a little bit of dobby the elf sure she had to get shaved but it just has been getting her groomed has just been a whole thing in itself so we're putting on one of her little outfits i got these from an etsy store is it called lucky dog i cannot remember maybe this one says lucky dog on it this little jacket like how cute and then this sweater, but there's some, gotta cut that stuff off. Like obviously like a little, I mean, it's like a fake to your sweater, which normally would be cringe, but it's for a dog. So it's already cringe. You know what I mean? You've got this, you've got this, look at you. You are doing such a good job, girl. Anyways, it's cold out. So you have to put this on so she doesn't get cold. Aw, look, look. Come here, boy. Just a girl and her dogs, you know? Hello, Mr. Handsome. He's getting a bath next week. You are so cute and I love you. Oh, I love you. So here she is. Back leg's still not working, but you know, she's a very strong dog. She is a fighter, this dog, truly. Like, look at her. It's the evening time and we've got some events tonight. I'm actually bringing back, I haven't worn this bag. I don't know how long it's been. I bought it for my 18th birthday. It's not like a trendy bag currently, but, um, but it matches my outfit and it will hold my vlog camera. It's big. I haven't even worn a big bag in forever. And now I'm excited. Like, let's bring this back, right? Mainly because I own one. Let's let's bring it back. Okay, here's the look, guys. You know, I just, I don't want to like chew my own horn, but like I'm killing it lately. Like this coat hasn't left my body in three weeks, but like who cares? I am obsessed. Like I love this. I'm actually wearing Kendra Scott. I got these. Um, I picked these out of the color bar when we were there for the Cowboys game and like I love them You know, I'm actually like really Really into it. I think this outfit is so fun going to an event and then I'm going to the Adolphus They invited me in so we've got why am I like doing a peace sign? I don't know Um, I also just ordered a burger because I wasn't planning on eating at these places and now I'm like I'm sure there's food so I'm gonna eat those and then go pick up Macy What a night guys this top is really cute though. It has this like little cutout thing. It's really cute if you wear it just as is, but like obviously, I have to wear this coat literally everywhere I go. Thank you. She did this 
full time. Yes. Weddings and everything. Yes, that's I so cute. Yeah. Wow. Guys, we just left the Dallas Sides 101 thing, or open house, and look at my florals. So cute, where did Macy go? Oh, Mrs. Content Queen over here. It's raining, just kidding, it's a sprinkler. Macy's going to formal. Yeah, prom. <laughs> Oh, oh. Thank you. We're at the Adolphus. It's so cute. So you have to reserve one of these little like room things. Like they used to be like igloos out there. But these are whatever they have here, they're classic. They're nicer. You know? I went to the Statler one. I like the Adolphus better. I also just like the Adolphus in general. It's just the coziest, cutest hotel. And then you have Rodeo Bar next to you. You also have the French room. You have the rooftop. You have everything. Um, we got a bunch of drinks. Just I like took a sip and tried them all. This one, I'm actually shocked because I normally don't like the ones that are like Instagrammy. So they feel like they end up being like too sugary or something. No, it's actually really good. The espresso, no, the teeny bear, it's the espresso right to eat. The other ones are good. I'm just not a rum girl, but the cider is good. I wonder if they'd make me the second off the cider. So don't drink it. Um, so oh, I yeah. want. Oh, you ordered one? So that's like what I have worn. Oh. Guys, I have a spray tan at my house tonight at 8.30. I have to prepare for a big weekend. I'm going to medieval times, so yeah. So I forgot the light is literally out in my garage. You cannot even see this, but we have new garage flooring. Good news. So it's covering most of the garage. Obviously, like, not that part right there, but it'll do because the sauna is going to go over here in this corner. This stuff needs to be more hidden. I was going to do my spray tan out here. I have a mobile spray tan coming, but guess not. Good morning, y'all. You can't really tell here. My face isn't as dark, but I got the best spray tan last night like in Dallas um it's I'll put her Instagram um down below but she's a Dallas girly I'm on my way to go work out it is Friday in case anyone was wondering yes I did get a spray tan to go to medieval times today and the bar crawl tomorrow not today but this morning I'm going to work out and then I'm gonna go out to the ranch and ride for like an hour with a friend of mine that I keep, we've been talking about going together for so long and so we're finally doing it. And then I really need to wrap my presents. I really need to finish editing another vlog and I really, really, there's something else I need to do. I just gotta get some stuff done before tonight because this weekend is busy and I'm tired and next week is crazy busy and I'm tired, so. That's gonna be really interesting. I'm listening to the Redheads on the Britney Spears memoir. What did y'all think of the book if you read it? Like, I really like it. I actually don't agree with a lot of their takes on like not understanding if there's plot holes. I think that like it actually, it, like to pull y'all in, they were just saying, which I get when you read the book, how they felt like how was her custody just taken from her and stuff. Like she's the biggest star in the world and whatever. I think that all of that is really possible when you see what happened in the aftermath of the people that were around her you know what i'm saying but i get like why but i get the take especially like if you read the book i liked the book i just felt like it wasn't like there wasn't like enough almost like i feel like she probably had to take the book deal because all of her money or a lot of her money isn't stolen from her and this is a 60 million dollar book deal she probably didn't want to do it it was probably too soon I just feel like it went, it like brushed over things very quickly and it's like went very fast. And like when you're reading it, it's like hard to remember that she's like literally the biggest star in the world because it just like happened pretty quickly. But overall, I actually like did really like it. And it's just like obviously you have to read Rodney's memoir. But I was like so involved in the like, conservatorship thing. I was following along like the early, early days. So I feel like I just knew so many like other things that like a normal person maybe wouldn't who wasn't like so intensely following this. So I also think that maybe like the level in which I followed it kind of made me not, I didn't really like learn anything in the book besides a couple things that I'm not gonna talk about because they're like triggering. Um, but those were also like shared in the media. So I don't know.
All right, y'all, I just got back from the ranch, but I needed to show you guys what I was wearing because I am obsessed. I mean, I know I showed you all this in a haul, but the shirt is so cute. Urban Outfitters, Kinsey 10, 10% off. Um, and then I just am wearing Levi's and Annie's, obviously. But, like, I just love the shirt. So, I'm gonna shower, get as much as I possibly can. I've got like five or six hours, and then I gotta get ready for medieval times. Like, I have things to do, I've got people to see. Jousters, you know? All right, y'all, it's later, and my Uber is about to pick me up. I was about to wear the most extra outfit, but I changed. It's more chill. I was wearing like, a very sparkly top, and I just was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just, I'll relax. And it was very Christmassy, and I feel like part of me like, wishes I would have done that. I don't know, whatever. Um, but while waiting for my Uber, my other Urban Outfitters package came in, so I want to show y'all the rest of it. Still, I don't have the brown skirt, which makes me think there's another package. This set is so cute. It's so like Claire Coo Smith coated. This little bow matching set. Okay, the bottoms. And then look at the top. Like it's so cute. Oh my God. I am obsessed. And then I have just a simple basic white top. You can never have too many, honestly. Like I kind of want to wear it tonight. I might be changing. Um, and then I got the same sweats that I got, the gray ones in black, just because these are like perfect. And gray, just like lounging, um, morning walks, things like that. And then I also have these pink ones, which I think are so cute. So I will link everything. But that is it for this week in my life vlog. I am I gotta go to Medieval Times, so I hope you guys can understand. Um, I love you all so much. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will see you in my next vlog. Your life is like, one of those like YA or like smut novels where you like get back together with like your high school like sweetheart and then he ends up making it to the major league. When I tell you, there were times where we were in it, but we like we were going through it.